Hi everyone, it's Wendy. I'm back on to do the second episode for the Crafty Challenge and this one's right up my alley. It's using your fingers as paintbrushes. So I think I have got everything just about ready. Um, I've got some water. I've got some paints down in my little tray here. Um, I have, I've sort of organised myself. Well, I hope I have. I've got a plan in my mind. I have them planned. I'm going to do some a tags. Few pieces of um, some scraps here. And I also thought I'd use some washi tape as well. And I've got my focal images ready, but I haven't cut my butterflies out. But that's okay, I can do it as I progress. Okay. So I'll just move those, just put them there so I don't lose them. And I'm going to start, and I've got some stencils too, I've got some modelling paste, gesso. Uh, what I'm going to start with first though, before I get actually into the finger painting, is I'm going to, I want a little, uh, I want a little bit of texture in the background, so I thought I'd use some of these strips here that I've got um, and place them over my background somehow. Just little bits here and there. So I'm going to glue those down first. Alright, let's do that. And we can get underway. Am I in shot, guys? Yep. Yeah. Okay. I want a little bit of texture, not a lot. And I thought this might be the easiest way. And this challenge is being run by Pam from the Paper Outpost and Louise Heinzel. Um, Louise Heinzel. I don't think it's Louisa. I think it might be just Louise. Um, let's put that one there. And the first one was so fun. The blindfolded um, clusters. I really, really enjoyed that. It was <laughs> a lot harder than what you thought, but it was a lot of fun. And this one's just using your fingers as paint brushes. But I thought I'd just put a little bit of texture on my page first. And just go from there with the paint on my fingers then. And I've been watching some of the other videos. Oh my god, they're just so good. So if you get a chance, just Google the hashtag the Crazy Craft Challenge. Uh, it's awesome, guys. There's absolutely some wonderful, wonderful um, ladies participating in it. And that what they come up with, oh, it's just mind-blowing. It's a little bit too big. I might cut that one. Okay, so I've got some of that on. I think by the time I'm finished, you might not even see the colour of this in the background but I'd try, I'm going to try and just have a little bit of it showing through. Okay, so I've got one more here. Alright, there we go. Okay, so that's first layer and I'm going to use some washi tape. So I might actually put that down now. just in a few little places 
and I'm going to use some glue on the back so that it doesn't pop up and hopefully you'll see a bit of the colour from the washi as well so I've got that one there and I'm going to use this one put a little bit of glue on the back Um, this one and this one guys are the new washi tapes in Auntie Vera's Scrap and Craft. Uh, some really cool washies have been, new washies have come into Vera's store. Okay. And then on this one here, I might put a bit of greenery. I've kind of like um, have them in order for the focal points that I'm going to use on them, like florally, florally type of focal points. So I thought when I finish this, they can go into one of my journals. Okay, um, I might grab that one. Okay. Let's just put that there. Okay, so I've got my backgrounds done washy way well not really my background I've got um, some layering done oh, I've got another piece here yeah let's put it on there was only one piece left so I may as well use what I've got out Now I'm going to use a little bit of gesso. Now I'll get my just lift these up and put something down under here while I'm using the the gesso. Okay. So I get a bit out. Oops, I've got white there. It's okay. Oh, I don't think that'll be enough for me. We'll see. We'll see how that goes. Okay, and now I'm just going to rub some gesso all over this. In a few places. Okay, I'm going to try and leave quite a bit. I'd, like, I'm not going to give it a full coat with the gesso. I want to leave quite a bit so that you can see the layers coming through in the background. So there's that one. I might lose, oh, it's a bit too much. I might lose quite a bit of it with the colour but we'll just see how I go but this is so much fun I love painting with my fingers ok 
Okay. So I think that's enough for that one for the moment. And do this one. So I've got some gesso on. So the first one, I'm just going to put, turn those up there, that way there, and do this one. Because I've got some blues. So, oh, hair there. Um, I'm going to use some of the blues. And I think I might just start with a light one. Mix a bit of white in with that. Okay. This is so much fun, guys. Stay in shot. And I'll put a bit of dark on. Uh, these two paints, uh, look, you're not going to believe this. This one here, the Kaiser Craft Colour, is called Turquoise, and the Montmartre signature paints um, it's called turquoise too and look how different they are one's a light one and one's a dark one so I'm just going to try and use just a little bit of the dark and go around the edges a bit too I think with the dark one bit more dark in here I'll get a bit more on my finger And you just really keep playing until you're happy with what's down on your paper. And okay, I like that. That looks pretty cool. All right, so I'm going to rinse my finger off. Well, wash my finger paint brushes so I can get the next color. And I've got some. I've got water just filled up here in my pot next to me and I've also got some baby wipes but I'm just want I don't really have to get all that white off 
but I do want to get the blue off because the next one the next colour is actually I've got a dusty pink Kaiser Craft and a mocha in the Kaiser Craft. Okay, so uh, I think I will. I'll start with the dusty pink. Get some on my finger. Mix a bit of the white through it, and more or less the same so you always kind of like start with a little bit because then you can build up your colors too all right a bit more pink Okay, so, and it doesn't take long for the paint to dry, so the paint on that one, on the blue one, is actually dry now, because I haven't smothered it in paint. I wipe my finger and go on to the next colour, which I've got, now here's another one, this one, this one is olive, the colour's olive from Kaiser Craft, and this is the Dina Wakeley olive. So they're really two different shades of um, olive as well. So this one I might go with the darker one first. Okay, and the other olive. Okay, and I like the way that one looks too. So that pink one is just about dry as well. So now what I thought, um, I might use some of the stencils. So, um, just to, I might use this one over here. Um, come down the bottom I think let those two dry properly and we'll go back to um, the darker blue of uh, the dark turquoise and we'll just get a little something something happening here something something with the stencil I think I need a bit more blue on my finger and when you're using a stencil with your paints I really really love the effect because you can more or less push the stencil out uh, the paint out from the inside shape and it makes it more noticeable around the outside it's a lot darker on the shape so I do like that I'll show you what I mean see so if you were using a sponge all those um, large shapes would have a lot more paint on it but when you use your finger it pushes the paint out around to the ridge of the stencil and makes it look really cool so I'm going to do a little bit more of that one up here. Oh, that looks really cool. Someone's phone's going in the units, well, in the alleyway. Okay, and the dog's going to start up again. Oh, that looks so cool, guys. I really like that. Have a look at that, see? Using that stencil. Okay, so there's that one. I'll get the blue off and go to the pink and mocha one. Um, so with this one I might might actually use the numbers. I'm not sure how that's going to go. Oh, the letters I should say, not numbers. 
So I'll put that there and grab some of the mocha. So it'll have the same effect as pushing the paint out, but I'm not sure if I'm going to um, squish any of the paint underneath the stencil. I hope I don't. Okay. Okay, let me have a look at that. Mm, not really noticeable because of the colour, but that's okay. I don't mind that. So I'll do a little bit more here, down this side. Um, yeah, it'll be alright. You, you won't notice it a lot, but you might see it a bit, so I'll just keep going. Oh, hang on. That's not even my stencil down there. And this one's so much better because you can actually see what you're doing. <laughs> oh, I had a good old laugh at myself with that last challenge. It was so fun, guys. If you get a chance, you should try it. You really should. I think the main thing is to have everything um, organised first and then try to remember where it is. Okay, I think I want a little bit more down here at the bottom. Someone's got their phone. I kind of like smudge that one. Someone's got their phone turned right up next door. Okay, that's not bad. I'm not sure if you're going to uh, see a lot of that, but that's okay. And the last one with my, my green shades. Is that dry? Yep, that's dry. See, it doesn't really take long for these to dry. Oh, my tags are made out of um, just book page. Um, so there's like two of them glued together because it was pretty sturdy book page, okay? Now, this one, I've got this stencil here. Let's have a go and see what this one's like. And I'm going to use the darker one again. Okay. So I'll hold that still. And there is a lot of noise outside, guys. I can't do anything about that. The um, that beeping gets me. They're still doing the units next door. They won't be finished until around August, they said. So we'll just wait and see. They had a few um, setbacks time-wise because of COVID, but hopefully they should be right. Okay, let me just have a look at that one because I, don't, I can't see any difference at the moment. Well, that's not too bad. Um, put a, a little bit more down here. This is just mainly for for a bit more texture as well. Okay, how's that? Yeah, that's not too bad. Got a, a little bit on there. Showing a little bit on there. Bit heavy handed with the paint on that one, but that's okay. Alright, so is that the finish of my Um, oh, you know what I didn't do on these two? I didn't go around the edge with the darker colour either. So I might try and do that now. Where can I hold that there? Just go like this around it. 
and put way too much on it, Wendy. So that's got a little bit of green around the edge as well. Wipe my finger, fingers, hit the it's just like washing your brush, isn't it? But just wiping them. <laughs> okay, so I used the darker one for this. I might try and put that one down. And just come up on the edge. And see how we go. So I'm not worrying about getting paint on the back of the, the tags because... I will end up gluing a bit of coffee dyed paper or something like that on the back of them. I'm still in shot. Yep, yeah, you can see me still. Uh, I don't think I'll be using the modelling paste now because I've just used the paint. Okay, and I've got a bit of that paint on the edge too. Uh, I really love the blue one. Uh, I'm not really feeling it with the other two at the moment. But what I might do, um, I'll give these two a dry because these ones haven't dried yet. I'm not sure about, yeah, that the blue one's not far from drying. I'll just hit these with my eye tool. So... <laughs> The green one here, I just want a little bit more of the white brought in. So, I think just up here. Oh, went to the edge. Wasn't trying, I was trying not to go to that edge. But I went to the edge, didn't I? That's just put a little bit more white on there for me. Maybe just down here. There we go. Okay, alright, yep, not too dark for me now. And the same with this one, I'll just swipe my finger in case I've got any green left on it again. So let's just put a tad more white. I like the look of those and I'm not touching that blue one because oh I just love that one so far still <laughs> all right so I've got that on now I'm not sure if I'm going to be using any more paint or not um, so now I brought I got that one for that but I haven't still cut out the butterflies yet but I'm just going to Place that just on there like that and this one here is dreams and I'm going to put the butterfly on there somewhere oops okay and then the next one I have like the pinkish and I think Maybe there. That looks better on that side too. And I've got the butterfly for that one. And then remember. And then this one here. I've got a small one. But I'm actually thinking I might change that for a bit larger one. These are these are gorgeous. These are actually digi downloads from Kerry from Witchcraft Do You Do. She had a sale on the <coughs> weekend. And... She had her enormous digi kit um, on special, so I actually 
I actually brought it and and printed it because they're just gorgeous, absolutely gorgeous. So I'm just going to find the sheet from those. Mm, okay. So I was trying, this is the sheet it's from, Witchcraft Do You Do. Now I've used one of the big ones from that set and that is from the smaller set but I just think, now I'm thinking that that's just a little bit too small. So, and I've got the pinkish one here from there. So what I might do is use this reddish with the green on it. Um, for the last one. So I'll cut that. And I printed these ones on cardboard. I don't know why. I was just going to uh, print them on photocopy paper. But I thought, no, I'll print it on cardboard. And then I printed a couple of the other things on the the, um, the sticker paper, whatever it's called. Okay, I do like that one better. And it's still, well, it's similar to that, the similar colourings there. But because it's a little bit bigger, um, I think I like it a lot more. Okay, so this one is just going to go there, I think. Something like that, maybe a bit different. All right, okay, I'm going to pop off and cut these butterflies out so that I can get a better idea. And I think I want a little bit of uh, calico under the back of them as well, or maybe cheesecloth. Okay, I shall be back, guys. Oh, they're looking pretty good. <laughs> oh my goodness, guys totally forgot to turn the camera back on to show you the rest of my process. I just got so carried away. I just really, really enjoyed myself then. Um, so anyway, I, I'll just run through and show you my tags, my hand-painted background tags. Oh, they just turned out so cool. I just love the way they turned out. Um, I was just sticking that bit down there. Okay, so the first, uh, what was the first one? The blue one. So that's how the blue one turned out. Oh my God, love, love, love it. I ended up uh, stitching on the focal image of the flower and putting a bit of uh, hesh, uh, calico just down that side there um, and then I've stitched around the outside with a zigzag and a plane and added the butterfly. I did ink around my focal image and on the blue one I used ice spruce and then on the outside here I have used the black black suit black soot <laughs> suit um, on the outsides and I've also put an eyelet in and I did back it onto some coffee dyed paper okay so that's the blue one the pinky brownie colored one more or less the same stitched around the focal image uh, um, the focal image sorry guys and then around the remember and the focal image I actually used tea dyed um, and then uh, right around the outside I put in a little bit of the black soot. So there's that one. And then, oh, this one just come out so striking. I used um, pine needles. I wasn't sure how dark that green was, but that's a really dark green, that one. <laughs> um, you can see it around here on the Believe. Um, with the Remember and the Believe, I also put some calico at the back of those. I didn't worry about it here because you can see a bit of it poking up from underneath that focal image. But I think it, um, it just, you know, 
made it it needed something before I put that word down so done the stitching as well and backed it on to the coffee dyed paper I just love 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 how these turned out so that was my episode two for the crazy crazy craft challenge hosted by Pam and Louise and it was using our hands um, or our hands are paint brushes okay so the next one oh the next one's going to be interesting because it's a collage challenge and you have to use the first letter of your name you have to use five items with the first letter of your name oh that'd be right and mine's W isn't it <laughs> Okay, I'm going to have to have a think about that one. Alright, so that's my second one. That's using, I just love it. Absolutely love the way they turned out. So pretty and I really enjoyed getting some paint on my hands. Well, you knew how much I got on there. I wiped most of it off. Okay, that's it guys. Thanks everyone. Hope you enjoyed. Um, you all have a great day and I'll catch you later. Bye bye.